everybody, it's Rocky, and I'm here with another subscriber request video. So today I'm going to make corn dogs, which um, when I saw that request, I was actually pretty excited about it to see if, if I could do it in a healthy way. So what I'm using, and it's going to be super simple, you know, because I'm all about keeping things simple. I'm just going to use uh, this cornbread mix, and I got Hodge, Hodgson, Hodgson Mill corn muffin mix, and it's like a jalapeno uh, flavored one. Is it a jalapeno? Yeah, Mexican style jalapeno mix. And I got this one uh, just from my regular grocery store. It's like an, it's Central Mark Market, but it's a part of the HEB tra uh, chain. Um, and I got it because the nutritional uh, facts on here look the best out of all of them. So the first ingredient on here is whole grain, stone ground, yellow corn meal. And then the second one is, is wheat flour. So it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make it kind of according to the directions. So what I did is I just put the um, corn muffin mix in my little bowl here. It calls for two eggs. I'm going to use is it the egg substitute, cage free ready egg so um, and it's fat free cholesterol free but um, it calls for two eggs which would be about a half a cup of this stuff so I have it right here I'm going to go ahead and pour that in okay and then next up it calls for one and three qu quarter cups of milk so I'm just going to go ahead and use this almond breeze milk this guy right here it's 60 calories uh, per serving I'm going to use that and just use whatever type of milk that you want. You can use, you know, 2% skim milk, fat free, whichever. It's just, I'm, I'm having a problem. I found that I've ha had problems recently um, with dairy. So I'm trying to stay away from dairy. So that's why I'm using the almond breeze. And then it asks for a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Um, so instead of vegetable oil, I'm going to use applesauce. So I got my applesauce right here and I'm just using calls for a third of a cup of vegetable, vegetable oil. So if you're substituting applesauce for vegetable oil, you just use whatever the amount of vegetable oil it calls for. So I'm going to use a third of a cup of applesauce. And what I got is this brand uh, right here. What is it called? The uh, Santa Cruz Organic. So I'm just using one of these guys. And a third of a cup is just, less, just a little bit shy of one of these little cups right here. So I already measured that up, and that's right here. And then mix it together. See what we come up with. This is mixed around enough. It smells really good just from the spices it had in the mix itself. If you can't find that mix, just look at your cornbread mixes and see and look at the nutritional facts, one compared to the other. Um, and there's a major difference between, you know, the uh, the brands. And then what I'm going to use as far as the dog part of my corn dog is, are these um, turkey hot dogs. So again, if you can't find these, just look at the nutritional facts. You can use uh, chicken dogs. They have all these different kinds of brands of sausage, sausages now, so you don't have to just use a hot dog. But let me go ahead and open these guys up. So I think what I've decided is to cut the hot dog in three. Uh, so I just cut it in three. So one, two, three. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it. I think what I'll do is I'll put the dog down in first and then um, put the batter on top of that. So let me try one and see how that goes. Let me try one just doing the, cor the cornbread first. So it looks like it's going to be three tablespoons of uh, cornbread mix for each of these guys. So I think I'm going to put the, this one, put the corn dog in, I mean the cornbread in first, then a dog. And then more mix. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to put a, a tablespoon down first, then the dog, and then two tablespoons on top of that. Okay, I'm back. I have them all filled up. I got um, 23 fills, so only this little guy's uh, left out, and I have like one little dog left. So 
one tablespoon on the bottom, two on top. This is what I got. Um, I'm going to put it in the oven. It's a 400 degree oven. It says for 25 or 30 minutes. So I might, I might check it at 20 minutes just to see, you know, what it all looks like. But in they go. I'm going to clean up here, um, and I'll see you guys in about a half an hour. Okay, I am back with my corn dogs. Um, they were 400 degrees, 30 minutes, and then we put it on broil. And when I say we, I mean, I mean me and Rich, because he likes to have things, he likes to have stuff like crispy on top. So we hit it, we put it under broil for about three minutes maybe. We just kind of watched it. So this is what it looks like when I cut it in half. And, you know, I can never wait till it cools off thoroughly, so hopefully I don't burn my mouth too bad. But, here we go. This came out really good. And it's nice and crispy. I'm actually really surprised with the amount of crisp on this because of that. it must be because we put it under the broiler up for a bit. But you know how like corn dogs usually have a little crispy outer shell and then it gets kind of moist on the inside when you get meat? Really good. I'm definitely going to make this. This might be a good one for like potlucks and then take over to like, you know, for game day or whatever. So this is definitely a winner. And the thing is, I've been meaning to try out the, the um, applesauce in substitute um, for olive oil or oil. Um, and I've been meaning to do that for a while. And in this recipe today, I had actually meant to use olive oil, but I didn't have any on hand. So I was like, oh man, I have to use like, I think all I have in my cabinet is like vegetable oil um, and peanut oil. I'm like, oh wait a minute, I have applesauce. Let me give it a try. So, and I don't taste any difference. It doesn't, you don't taste apple in it at all, even though, you know, I, I only put like a third of a cup in there, so, and divide it up between all these little portions. I don't taste a hint of apple. So, you know, maybe give that a try and like any of your cake or muffin or cupcake recipes, switch out the oil for the same amount of applesauce and, you know, see what you think. So that is pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot them below. And until next time, enjoy. Bye.